Chloe, pleasure to see you once again. We wanted to invite you back on after the announcement at the last Connect event and just get everyone to actually see a little bit more about your compliant recording solution. So more than happy to take the next 15, 20 minutes and uh, over to you. Lovely. OK, cool. I'll try and condense it a little bit. Um, what, what I'll probably suggest is we'll, we'll do a bit of a condensed thing now and then for anyone who wants a more in-depth demo slash webinar or whatever, we can um, book in separate sessions with um, whoever wants it. Okay, so like I say, I won't, I won't massively go on, but just to give some people some ideas. So um, Oak's been around for a really long time, about 36 years, got about 30,000 customers worldwide. And from a recording side, we have a lot of focus on uh, compliance. So we'll have a look at that today. Um, so, as Caroline mentioned, we do, um, we're going to be kind of focusing on Teams today, but we do do call recording for pretty much any on-premise phone system as well. So, I have added a little bit to touch on that too. But from a Teams perspective, um, OCA is certified Teams recording solutions. So, we tap directly off the Teams tenant using the Recording Graph API, similar to how Tiger record uh, the Teams, uh, report on the Teams information or do the analytics for the Teams information. They use the Graph API as well, which means we have the same benefit of them in that it doesn't matter whether you're using a Microsoft call plan, direct routing, operator connect or a hybrid with a on-premise or um, contact center solution, we're still going to record all your team's calls. And because we tap directly off the tenant, we don't just um, have the option to record PSTN calls. We can also record teams to teams calls, meetings, internal, external, and we can record the visuals as well. So if you want to record the video or the screen sharing, we can do that. And um, but we can apply rules. So if you don't want to record all of that, so if you only want PSTN or you only want audio, and you don't want a visual or you want to have, um, you know, recording that doesn't happen unless you press a button. We've got lots of uh, rules around that. And of course, I'll send this out via the Tiger team and they can pass this on for anyone who wants to look through it as well. Um, in terms of on-premise, um, we can also record uh, either line side recording for on-premise solutions. So, you know, MyTels, Avias, Unifies, uh, Cisco's, that sort of thing. Uh, so if it was line side recording, uh, we can record um, SIP, which is obviously the pretty much the standard these days, um, or ISDN. And we can even record a bit of analog if that's out there for specific requirements. Um, so that would be line side recording. And that means we record everything that comes in and out of the business, although we can do filters if there were certain um, numbers or people you don't want recorded or something. Um, but besides that, we could also do extension side. So if you do record the first option line side, you can still search by extension. Um, but the second option allows you to choose specific extensions to, um, to just record. So we have two deployments. We've got our single instance deployment so that we can do that on Teams, but that single instance deployment would have to go into a virtual instance in Azure. Or if it was a single instance for on-premise um, phone systems, uh, then it could go on any uh, any server or virtual machine that you want to uh, supply. Um, but secondly, we do have Carify Go that is just for Teams, and that is our as a service solution. So that's just where you um, have a you know simple monthly um, so it's an annual contract, but um, you're paying uh, the way the pricing uh, will be put forward as per user. Um, uh, and we've and with with that it is a fully as a service solution. So um, we're sourcing you out with your um, setup, your hosting, your um, storage of your recordings, uh, your training. Everything's all included uh, in in that offering. So uh, we're going to probably touch a little bit on the record and evaluate today. Um, but just a heads up, we do also have an offering uh, for analyze. Uh, so we have an API within our solution that allows you to link your recording to third party solutions. So uh, speech analytics solutions, um, uh, maybe third party contact center solutions as well. Um, uh, and we also um, can link it to your CRM. So if you wanted to, um, you know, have it so your call recording is automatically linked to a customer's record so you can find it in there rather than having to search in your call recording interface, you could do that. So um, on here, there's um, a few people that will probably guess the main reasons why you record calls, especially around sales and customer services. So, you know, you want to listen to agreements, um, especially if there's potential risk of um, dispute resolution needing to happen on what's been agreed on contracts and things like that. And but also customer services, so you know potential complaints, um, conversations that were had. You can go back and reference them. Um, but I'm going to go through a few bits just to look at compliance and um, dispute resolution specifically. 
Okay, so all of our recording is tamper proof. So we use 256 bit AES encryption uh, for everything. Oh, um, uh, Darren, I think um, I'm sort of trying to leave a few minutes at the end for questions, um, if that's all right, only because we're a bit short on time, if that's okay. Um, uh, so all of our recording is encrypted. So um, yeah, it's 256 bit AES encryption. So you can use it in a court of law. It covers the requirements from a financial perspective from um, well, uh, some of the boxes, but we'll we'll look into that a bit more in a second. Um, but yeah, it means that no one can say that you've tried to tamper with a recording because it's got that encryption level. Uh, you have user defined access control. So the username and password you put into the solution will be able to um, dictate what level of access you have. So who you're allowed to listen to, what core recordings you're allowed to listen to, and also all the features. So some people will be allowed to um, have access to everything. Some people might have really limited feature access. So when we look at that, that'll give some more clarity on that too. Uh, we have secure file sharing. So traditionally with recording, when you share a recording, you normally attach it um, as a WAV or an MP3 um, file to an email and send it off. The problem with doing that is you lose control of that recording because now, you know, um, that person can keep that recording, they can share it, they can um, they can tamper with it because it's an unencrypted file format. So although we do still support that option, we also have this option that allows you to share a recording as a link instead that you can only stream from. So you can't download it or keep it or edit it. Um, and you uh, only have so long to listen to it because you've got an expiration date on that as well. Um, and then lastly, we have retention. So you can set up how long calls are kept for, um, and that can be done by things like a particular user or department or um, a DDI or, or as a whole range of filters on that. Uh, so we cover GDPR, so we cover a consumer's right to be forgotten. So as long as you have got permission to do so, you can delete calls. Um, so if a consumer says we had a call, I don't want you to keep it. If you don't have a business case to keep it, um, you can delete it within our solution. And there's an audit trail of all um, deleted um, calls. And there's an, also an audit trail of everything that happens within the solution as well. Um, for financial compliance, so if you're FCA regulated, um, we make sure your calls are encrypted and you can keep the calls for as long as you like. Uh, and then for MIFID 2, um, calls are, um, like I say, again, encrypted. You can keep the calls for the regulated seven years um, and we can record any communication related to a transaction which is one of the benefits of us being the microsoft certified recording partner because of us recording um from uh, directly from the tenant which is why you know like i said we're recording those meetings and things as well um for retail travel and tourism we have some pci compliance options so um you've got manual pause and resume not really compliant <laughs> um, but it's there because there are other solutions that offer that as part of their compliance um, Thirdly, we can offer um, with some partnership, uh, some solutions around a agent being able to ask the end user to type the card details into the handset rather than speak them, uh, which is your belt and braces option, because then you don't have to pause the recording at all. Uh, the only issue with that is it means that um, if somebody, uh, sorry, the only issue with that is it means there is a much higher price tag, which sometimes isn't always um, ideal for customers, especially if they're not taking a lot of payments or and there's certain areas of the public sector where the budget won't allow, which is why we have the second option, which is really popular, um, that allows you to automate a pause and resume. So we can track the URL of a payment page. So if you've got a payment page you type the card details into, we can track that URL, which automatically will pause and resume the call recording at the right time without manual intervention. So it's like a middle ground option, but has a much more cost effective price tag. Um, and then lastly, we cover for healthcare just because of all the um, increase in uh, verbal advice given over the phone rather than face to face appointments. People want to record that for advice given. Um, so for Microsoft, um, as mentioned, we record via the graph API. We have Active Directory integration for single sign on. Um, as I mentioned, we have the API that allows for CRM integration. That could be any CRM, but we specify dynamics here as part of the Microsoft portfolio. Um, and as I talked about the API earlier. Um, we've got pricing, um, the way it's set out, like I say, is, is um, you kind of, you would price it, it looks like on a per month, but it's actually an annual setup. Um, you've got a terabytes worth of storage included within the solution. Um, so uh, that's about 33,000 hours of audio you get included. So you get a huge amount of storage <laughs> included in the solution as standard. And then after that, we either charge per terabyte per month for additional uh, storage or you can use your own blob storage to store the recordings. So the solution itself will still be hosted and as a service by us, but we can use your blob storage for storing the recordings if you prefer, or we can still store the recordings 
for you in, in our as your environment, but you can specify the location. So if you needed it stored in a certain country, we can do that for you too. Um, and um, uh, there's no uh, setup cost within the solution. I would absolutely love to actually see some of clarifying yeah, data for everyone look. on the call this morning. There's nothing oh, better you. than the, the power of the software itself, is no, there? Yes, absolutely. So, um, so this is what it looks like when you log in. Actually, if I click back, so you put your username and password and in you come. This shows you live how many calls you're recording right now, how many you've recorded so far today in the last seven days. We do also have an app that allows you to do things like live tagging um, and live comments. So on here where you can see the live recordings, you can see them happening live, but through our app, you're able to actually click to live listen to the recordings as they happen. We can do that both within Teams and within some of our on-premise recording solutions. Um, you've got a full audit trail, as I mentioned. So for GDPR, if there's a data access request. You can see everything that's happened within the solution. You know, who's listened to recordings, who's edited them, deleted them, etc. Like I say, you, you can never edit the original recording, but you might have played with a copy of it. Um, for searching, this is your general search interface. So if we look at um, me for uh, last month, on that, then you can see all my um, Teams calls that I've been involved with. So. If it's a Teams to Teams call, it would look like it would say internal and then you'd have both names. Uh, that would be the same actually if it's an internal call. I mean, if you're recording extension side on premise, if it was um, a, um, I, um, a PSTN call, it would just show the normal phone number and the person that answered it. And again, that would be the same um, if it was a normal on premise PBX. So you'd see the phone number that um, called in and which extension they ended up speaking to. Or vice versa. So if I as the extension extension phone the PSTN number, it would just say outgoing instead. Um, so the only real things you'll see differently from a Teams perspective is you'll see um, the Teams to Teams calls um, where both names might be picked up, even if it's an external party. So here you've got Alistair Ralph, and he doesn't work at Oak but because he's a Teams user. You'd be able to see both of our names. Whereas if he wasn't a Teams user and it was a normal phone system, it would just be from me to his DDI or his phone number. Uh, and then for meetings, again, that's a team specific feature. You'll be able to see in brackets the name of the person that created the meeting, regardless of whether they were an internal staff member or an external staff member. And then for things like searching, you've got things like um, yesterday, last week, last month, et cetera, or custom. So you've got start dates, finish dates, start times, finish times. You've got direction of calls, if it's incoming, outgoing, or internal, how long the call went on for, if you are recording the visual as well as the audio. You've got phone numbers, you can search on whole numbers, area codes, you put names against numbers on there if you want to. So you can search on names if you don't want to have to look up the number. Um, because we are recording off the graph API, we'll automatically pick up usernames from Teams. Uh, or if it was a on-premise solution, we can do that from your Active Directory. Um, you can add comments and tags, as I mentioned, we've got an app that allows you to add them live, or you can go in and you can add them retrospectively. So if I click on there, I can have my comment and you can see it then creates um, on the right here, a uh, my name, the date and time and the comment, and you can search on that. Um, same for tagging, so you can add uh, tags in here if you want to as well. Um, you've got events, so any sort of pause or resume or anything that's gone through our QM module, I don't think we're going to have time to look at the QM module today, but essentially that la allows for a supervisor or a manager to create a survey that they can score calls against. So, you know, did the agent use this company script? Were they able to answer all the questions, rate them from one to 10 about how good their product knowledge was or how polite they are? And then you can run reports on that. So you can look at strengths and weaknesses or people where they might be failing compliance. Um, so if you are interested in that, be really happy to show you anyone on here that another time. Um, so if you want to play all these calls, you can click this box and it would create a big playlist or you can go around ticking the ones that you want. Or you could do a drop down and add to the queue. Um, this is our link based sharing. So this is where you'd pop in the email address if you did want to share a recording as a link rather than an attachment. You've got the expiration date on there too. Um, we've got the deletion option there as well and you can copy links. You've got your different icons, so any screen recording, pause or resume, anything that's gone to our QM module. The comments and the tags, and then you've got the normal things around dates and times. And if I just want to quickly, before we run out of time, um, 
Uh, if I just want to quickly, um, let me just find a good example of uh, seeing if we had one with uh, a visual recording on there. Mm. Oh, there you go, right. Right click play on there. Uh, might not have been the best example because it is <laughs> that's a half an hour long call with the video so it might take a minute to load okay that's fine we'll just load a normal call for now then so um go back to me do uh, once again so i'll just do a normal one between me and my uh colleague so if i go on to here click play Uh, you can see it loads the call. You can jump around the call to find the bit you're interested in. You can also click and drag and release, which means this pinky area here gives you some options around masking it. So if you want a certain part of the call to be silent when you send it off, or you could send off just that section if it's an hour long, but you only want to say five minutes, or if you want to put that on loop, you can. And you can also add any markers on here that you want to. Um, okay, that's a, a quick whistle stop tour. Like I say, we could always do a much more in depth one at another time when we've got a bit more time. And from your perspective, I'm, I know you're doing an awful lot at the moment, uh, generally, but Clarify Go is obviously the flagship product for the Microsoft Teams platforms estates. Uh, gives a really great subscription model for you guys. And so it's something that we're, we're really seeing positive traction with our customer base at the moment, obviously the Microsoft outlay, but as you rightfully say, that's that's not the only string to the bow. So certainly <laughs> to, to exclude our, our non-Microsoft customers with, although I know that we've got a heavy influence of Microsoft customers on the on the estate this morning. Chloe, thank you so much. Bye now. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.